Good morning, George Niang. Good morning. It's good to be back. Crazy. This is the second media day as a 76 year. The time has flown. Let's start here. Your Instagram bio says something that I really like. Yeah. There's no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. Yes. How far up the staircase are you and what's at the top? Um, you know, I, I don't think you look at it as like a destination. I look, think you look at the stair part as a journey. And, you know, every day is just another step that you're trying to climb. Um, and hopefully the end destination is retirement. But uh, I hope that's not close uh, at all. So yeah, I'm going to keep climbing, keep working and keep trying to be the best teammate and person I could be. Heading into your second season with the Sixers, yeah. what's important to you right now as a basketball player? Um, you know, I think the biggest thing for me is winning is, you know, is on the forefront of my mind. You know, I'm going into year seven um, and, you know, it's crazy to think that, you know, I've been around that long, but, you know, you want to win. And I think we have the team and the chemistry uh, to do that. You know, we've brought in a lot of great guys and I think on top of an already great team. So I'm really excited to see what, uh, you know, we can do this year. What's important to you as a person right now? Uh, you know, um, my family, um, obviously, but the city of Philadelphia is buzzing right now. You know, the, the Eagles are 3-0, and the Phillies are about to make the playoffs. So, you know, we're just really just trying to fall in line with all that and keep the excitement going, especially through the winter and into the spring. I know you have a special bond with Tobias Harris, yeah. but you guys are pretty different personality-wise. Yes, yeah. How do you complement one another as two of the leaders on this team? Um, you know, I think Tobias, you know, does a good job of, you know, definitely leading by example with his hard work and, you know, being able to put his hard hat on, um, whatever status people think that he has, you know, he's willing to do the little things to help us win and he can get vocal. I think, you know, my role is, really just to be the energizer guy that, you know, makes light of everything and can smile every single day and tries to be a little bit like Tyrese Maxey, you know, never have a bad day and try to get 1% better every day. Joel Embiid is someone that you have a bit of a playful relationship yeah. with and he doesn't think you suck anymore, which I is know. amazing. It's messed up that you brought that up. I was hoping <laughs> we could avoid it. Uh, no, no, no. First day and yeah. we have to go straight yes, there. Yes, exactly. How do you feel about him? What are you excited about when you think about what he could unlock this season? Uh, you know, the thing that I admire about Joe is that he's, you know, failed plenty of times in his life when it's come to, you know, whether, you know, not not making it to the you know the finals or not winning MVP but he comes back with the same uh, drive every single time to want to perfect his craft and make his teammates better and he's always thinking you know outside the box of how can I do this to help us win and I think that's admirable in a superstar because some people you know if you look back in history you know a lot of superstars have failed and they finally have that breakthrough and Joel has never given up on that and I think it's it's admirable to see his, his drive and his work ethic stay the same and never get discouraged, just keep coming back. And whether it's through injury or you know what, not winning an award, he comes back 10 times harder the next time. And I think that's admirable, especially you know, in a superstar in a, you know, a great sports city like Philadelphia. Who on this team might surprise people this year? Um, you know, that's a good question. You know, we've acquired, you know, uh, quite a few guys and I've only been here for a couple of weeks. Um, but, you know, I, I want to say, you know, with James finally having, you know, an off season where he was healthy and he could work on his game, he's, you know, looking amazing. You know, he's he's put a lot of work in this summer and I think uh, a lot of people are going to be excited to see him out there, you know, doing the things that he does, you know, whether that's passing. Uh, making jump shots or finishing at the rim. You know, he's really done a good job of, you know, coming in early and, and being around all of us and working extremely hard. And a credit to him because, um, you know, it, it's not easy. He was telling me, I think it's year 14, and he's still working like it's, you know, uh, year five, which is impressive. And, um, and I'm happy I could be alongside him this year. You mentioned the couple of weeks that you guys have had together. What's the vibe like? How's the chemistry coming along in the early days? Oh, I think it's great. You know, we have a lot of players um, on this team and uh, it's going to get extremely competitive. But I think the best thing about us is that we all have the same thing on the front of our minds and that's to win. I think everybody here is focused on winning. How can we make this team better? Um, you know, I think we're focused on the we aspect of uh, this season. Last year, I remember Doc Rivers said that the energy that you bring to the locker room and yeah. to your teammates was something that was missing in years past. Yeah. How important is it to you to continue to be that person? Um, you know, it's not about me. I'm going to come in and be the same person that I am every day and try to bring a positive energy. And um, if that's what helps the team and that's what the team needs, then I'm willing to do that. You know, I'm, I love 
the game that I play. I love to be around the people that we have here, so why not make it an enjoyable experience? I also have to ask you, what are your hopes and dreams for your little <laughs> podcast that you run around here oh, this year? Oh, the, the big Niang theory. Hopefully, you know, we continue it. We can continue it. I heard my co-host, you know, might be pulled in other directions. So, you know, I don't know if I'll be lucky enough to have a co-host, but if she does make time for the podcast, then I'd be more than happy to continue it. George, the podcast is one of the favorite things I've done in my whole <laughs> career, and I'm very much looking forward to doing it again. Thank you for sitting down today. Ab absolutely.